menu layout. We can go in Forza Vista. We have a completely new auto show layout all decked up in here. Everything looks super nice and fancy. And gosh, the graphics that you notice while being inside this auto show are flawless. Now I'm going to go over to upgrades and we're going to go custom upgrade this thing. And the first thing that I am more than excited to show you guys on this Supra is this brand new wide body kit that we have here for it. It is called the KRC Japan wide body kit. And here it is in all of its glory. Talk about aggression. You have venting up in the hood. You have venting in the front bumper, even little holes in the front splitter down there. And then I love how the front wide body fender panels kind of arch their way into front canards and then we bring her around here and oh boy it brings out some hips on this thing you have super wide hips on the super with this and then you can't forget that aggressive diffuser down there so yeah um this is pretty dang wild i think this is a perfect kit for a like really wild drift build of a supra we'll leave that slapped on there we could go see what engine swap options we have we immediately have five other engines here we have the v8 we have the inline four turbo. We have the V10. We have a racing V8. And then we have the V12 right there. So a lot of different cylinder options. But of course, we got to keep it 2J. That's just, that's no question. You can make it all wheel drive if you wanted to. And you can make it single turbo. I actually kind of want to do that. I want to at least single turbo this 2J and see what that sounds like compared to what we heard when we started this video out outside. Of course, we got to go check out the exhaust and you can rev the car while in here and you could hear how each different exhaust modification that I'll do changes the note. So here's stock. Here's the street. I don't know if I like that. It is, it's got a little more of an HKS exhaust kind of tone to it, the street exhaust. Let's hear this one, the sport. Oh, it just feels a little more opened out, a little more hollow. And then we got the race. Oh yeah, that one has a lot more rasp. And it does feel, definitely sounds the highest pitch. Yeah, we're going to go with the race exhaust. No question on there. It's not only just exhaust parts that change the note of this car. We're in the cam section right now. And here's stock. So yeah, you can hear the tone slightly increases the higher camshaft ranking you go. So we're gonna have race cams on there. Then you have the single turbo setup. Oh, I could hear. So it's very, very hard to tell, but the different turbos also have a different blow off sound note to it. So the race turbo definitely has the biggest stoo doo doo as you would say. But it's the faintest sound, at least inside the auto show it is. It's really hard to notice. But can we just get some respect points in the comments for Forza actually going into this much detail? This is exactly the type of stuff I want to see in a new Forza game. Just these little detail things that add to the realistic factor of what is accurate when you're modifying a car that no one would never consider when you're asking for new things for the game. But the fact that they went through and added this like that's that earns my full respect right there so we'll probably leave it at that for our modifications we don't have all the money in the world because this is just a preview build so we can't go that crazy on this thing we could also see we have brakes so i think we do want to touch those um i definitely want to rock with the drift suspension on this oh my god look at this oem fitment already Holy, look at that rear fitment, and we're just on the OEM wheels. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I always find it funny how it's basically going to cost me 2,300 credits just to strip this car out, when I'm pretty sure that's something that I could just do or not pay someone to do. But I guess it costs credits in here. Now, we have some more aero we could have fun with on top of the kit here. So we have different hood options. We could keep it a little more plain if we wanted to. And then we have the Jun Street Hood. I'm going to stick with the hood of this kit, though. It definitely looks the most wild. And then wings. Holy cow, we got a lot of wing choices. I don't know if you guys are ready. I don't know if I'm ready for this. But here's the famous Sea West. This has been in almost every single Forza game I've seen throughout. 
And then we have the double decker, I like to call it. This one I like to say is just held on by nothing. I mean, its struts are just practically invisible. And then we got the APR, which is cool. Here's the KRC to go with the kit. Ooh, actually, this flows really well with this. I actually might rock that. Um, big country labs. That's something I never expected to see in this game. That actually is very full drift hot boy. So we might have to go with that too. Oh, and then they have, oh my lord. What on earth? Okay, screw big. I never thought you could get bigger than big country labs, but um, yeah, that is, wow. And then you just have nothing. I mean, oh my, we got options. I'm going to have to rock with the, the funky style, just absolutely maximum load wing right here. Just because that, you know, if I'm going to build a wild Supra, I'm going to build it to the max. And I'm sure this is what people at least want to see, especially what does this thing look like when you take it outside. So just for the curiosity, I'm going to run that wing, even though that personally would not be what tires? I would do if I was oh, building the car yeah, for tires, reality. Here we are. We got the tires and rims we don't have many added wheels in the first section the monoblock section there are stuff here um these work wheels are new actually god these oh, they, oh these look so good on here and then these are new too those look fantastic actually we might have to rock with those those actually look perfect on this car these brand new work t5rs so we have a lot of new wheels from the brands of rotiform and work and then american racing those are probably the three main brands that they added a lot new wheels of um and i'm sadly not gonna go crazy in depth on this video of all of them here but you guys can kind of see sadly they didn't add that many basic common new wheels like different spec cr kai's or different spec te37s rpf ones or anything like that just the common wheels that you see when you go to car meets and stuff local they added a lot more funkier unique wheels i want to say which is cool because it adds to the diversity wheel selection here but i also wish we could have seen just a little more of the common basic wheels that you know you tend to see more out at car meets and stuff like that just because i'm always having fun replicating things so we still have these are the old te's and i just wish we had deeper or more aggressive te's like please someday yeah i cannot help it those wheels look perfect on this thing they almost look so good that they make the wing kind of fit the car should we make them bigger we can make them one size bigger too big of a wheels is actually a thing and a lot of people like to go way too big actually smaller is sometimes better just because you know you can rock more meat now we could put on the drift tire compound and see what this is all about this is going to be one heck of an expensive car i can already tell Fifty-six thousand. that's not too bad for a wide body build with upgraded cams upgraded single turbo wheels tires like that's that's actually not that bad now we can paint this thing any color that we want and see what looks best Ooh, pink is salmon is kind of uh i kind of vibe with that a little bit on this car that actually looks kind of cool all right um i'm probably actually gonna leave it Ooh, white looks good too i'm gonna leave it the red though juicy red is a perfect fitting super color and as before we can also specifically paint certain areas of the wheels eh, not the most tasteful in my opinion um actually yeah i'm gonna be boring i'm gonna just leave the stock finish on those wheels i don't think you could really beat that gun metal with polished lip oh i wish you could paint the winglets on this massive wing that would be super fun and ridiculous then we could come in here and add a design if we wanted to i gotta get used to kind of the new layout of things they were saying that what they're trying to do is kind of replicate a more photoshop ui standard which uh, I'm not exactly sure how much of that I see. I'm also not exactly sure how much of that is a good idea since a lot of people struggle to get used to Photoshop. Yeah, I could definitely see how it is reminiscent of Photoshop now. Just having this rectangular bar in the upper left with all of your tools and stuff. That's definitely something that they probably would have got inspired by them. But it's also something that I'm going to have to kind of get used to let's see if we got any new brand logos in here well of course you got the updated forza horizon 5 logo um as far as sponsors we have the same sponsors that they've always had in these games so no new brand logos looks like that's going to be left up to us 
uh, livery designers to go create and add into the shop. So now it is interesting. I press B back and I go save to current car. Normally that would exit and save, but it doesn't appear to do that. I try and save to design catalog, but it won't load it whatsoever. So um, I guess my only option is to save and then hope that I click exit without saving and it saves it. We'll see. Nope. Um, well, that sucks. Um, well, I guess you guys saw the design that we had finished there. That's weird. I don't know why this build will not let me save designs on cars. Which is really unfortunate because I like to express my creativity on there with them. Our only option is to exit with it being red. And you know what? Maybe sometimes designs are adding on too much to the car. The car is already pretty busy with that big wing in the back. So maybe it's for the best. But let's hop out here and see what our new modified Mark IV Supra is like. It's crazy that it instantly sounds so different. That's what I love. I'm not used to that in a Forza game. Oh boy. Hey, excuse me. The people here have no sense of respect. So it sounds different and oh, it wants to drift now. We could link these little chains. Holy crap. Do you guys am Oh my gosh. Do you see how much more tire smoke is coming out of this thing? This is like FD tire smoke. I mean, I'm sure it's probably got FD amounts of power now with the cams and everything that we did to it. This is probably like a 700 800 horsepower supra but yeah no it drifts a lot better than the stock one and we got, got a little bit of drift angle right there gosh look at the amount of tire smoke this kit looks i mean it's super crazy and wild the wing definitely overdoes it but if you don't have that wing there actually this is a really cool wide body kit this is amazing i don't even know where we are right now we're right outside the festival and they got this little track Dude, you can't even see the rear end. That's exactly what I want in the game with this much tire smoke. Then we'll go into photo mode and see what this looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Just pouring smoke out there. That is so sick. That's a shot and a half right there. Yeah, this has got me hyped for the game.